हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज चिन्मय देशपांडे इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू सॉल्व अ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल डिफरेंशिएशन यूजिंग न्यूटन्स फॉरवर्ड इंटरपोलेशन फॉर्म्यूला सो द क्वेश्चन इज फाइंड फर्स्ट एंड सेकंड ऑर्डर डेरिवेटिव ऑफ वाई इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ एक्स एट एक्स इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट फाइव फ्रॉम द डेटा सो डेटा हैज बीन गिवन टू अस नाउ लेट मी फर्स्ट Uh, let me first write here we will we will construct we will construct forward difference table now you will ask me why we are going for a forward difference table because if you see we have to find it out derivative of 1.5 which is at initially in which is at uh, which is situated at initial of a table so that's why we are going to choose here forward difference table so let me write it as here there will be a value of x so let me complete this table there will be value of y okay so what is your first value it is 1.5 after that 2.0 2.5 3 3.5 and 4 3 3.5 and Four. So let me complete this table up to this line. We have a corresponding values of a y. This will be three point three seven five. This is seven point zero thirteen point six twenty five thirteen point six twenty five. Then twenty four thirty eight point eight seven five twenty four thirty eight point eight seventy five and fifty nine. all of you please write down these values very carefully if there is a mistake while taking value definitely the problem will get wrong so first we have to find it out del y so here whatever value we will get now please remember here we have to find it out value of x at 1.5 so therefore here we will consider this as a x0 this will be x1 x2 x3 then x4 and x5 we will consider this as a y0 y1 y2 y3 y4 and y5 so whatever first term we will get is nothing but delta y0 so how to do this we know that already we have seen how to do second value minus first value that is 7 minus 3.375 so what you will get answer here is 3.625 here we have to write delta square sorry delta of y1 so what to do 13.625 minus 7 you will get this answer as 6.625 after that you have to write it as a delta y2 so 24 minus 13.625 you will get answer as 10.375 after that next will be del y3 so how to find it out 38.875 minus 24 so you will get it as 14.875 and next will be delta y4 which will be equal to what 59 minus 38.875 so you will get it as 20.125 so this is the first you can say first column that we have solved here now next we have to determine that will be what delta square y now as it is a forward difference table so first element will be delta square y0 how to do it 6.625 minus 3.625 you will get this answer as a 3 next will be equal to delta square of y1 so 10.375 minus 6.625 you will get answer as 3.75 next will be equal to delta square y2 which is 14.875 minus 10.375 so you will get this answer as 4.5 and next will be delta square of y3 which is equal to 20.125 minus 
14.875 so you will get it as 5.25 so this is the next column that we have completed so let me draw here line first after that we will go for delta cube of y so delta cube of y here you will get what delta cube of y0 what will be 3.75 minus 3 so here you will get it as 0.75 then delta cube of y1 will be equal to what 4.5 minus 3.75 so it will be equal to 0.75 and delta cube of y2 will be equal to 5.25 minus 4.5 so you will get this answer as a 0.75 so if you go for next column let me let me draw this column if you go for next column delta raised to 4 y you will get here 0 0 then if you go for next column delta raised to 5 y also you will get it as a 0 now let me write a formula first you have to construct this and then we have to write when x0 equal to 1.5 we have to find it out first dy by dx at x equal to 1.5 x equal to x0 so let me write a formula dy by dx at x equal to 1.5 will be equal to 1 by h into brackets delta y0 minus 1 by 2 into delta square y0 plus 1 by 3 into delta cube of y0 so if you see here no need to go for delta raised to 4 and delta raised to 5 because we got answers as a 0 so let me write it only up to this term now what is this delta y0 delta square y0 so let me change color first so that it will be easy for me to identify these values so here if you see this will be this is your value we are going to use these values whatever these values which are shown by underline blue color it we are we are going to use it here no need to go for delta is to 4 delta is to 5 because anyway it is uh, 0 so let me write it as what is h here h will be equal to what x1 minus x0 so what is this 2 minus 1.5 so let me write 2 minus 1.5 so what you will get if you do 2 minus 1.5 you will get answer as 0 0.5 so first always remember you have to substitute because stepwise marking is there delta y0 what is delta y0 3.625 so let me write it as 3.625 minus 1 by 2 delta square y0 it will be 3 okay plus 1 third into delta cube of y0 it is 0 0.75 it will be into 0.75 so always used to solve it stepwise then only you will get correct answer otherwise it may create a problem of uh, brackets while putting it in a calculator so this will be your 1.5 plus 0 0.75 divided by 3 you will get this as a 0.25 so if you solve it let me solve 3.625 minus 1.5 plus 0 0.25 divided by 0 0.5. So you will get this answer as 4.75. So this will be answer of dy by dx at x equal to 1.5. So this is the first part that we have completed. Now here next also we have to determine when x equal to x0 which is equal to 1.5 we have to find it out d square y upon dx square at x equal to x0 so therefore d square y upon dx square at x equal to x0 will be equal to what is formula 1 upon h square into bracket if you see a formula it will be delta square y0 minus delta cube of y0 now no need to go for delta is to 4 term because anyway it is 0 so let me write this formula only up to these two terms so what is h already we have gone through h 1 upon 
zero point five square. Now let's see what is delta square y zero. If you see delta square y zero is three, so write, let me write it as three minus delta cube of y zero. If you see this will be point seventy five. So let me write it as a point seventy five. So if you solve it, you will get three minus point seventy five divided by point five square. You will get the answer as nine. That is d square y. Upon dx square at x equal to 1.5 will be equal to 9. This is what is the steps with the help of which we can solve this numerical. This table is very important. Maximum marks will be there for preparation of a table. So this is what is numerical differentiation using Newton's forward interpolation formula. This is a first problem. In the next video, we will solve a second type of a problem. So thank you for watching this video.